Hey what's up everyone this is Nash and this is the most requested review of all time. So today I'm going to review Lineage OS based on Android 7.1.1 Nougat on my OnePlus One. And if you don't know it used to be known as CyanogenMode, Mode which was most installed room all around the world. And not only OnePlus One it's supported by many devices so I will give the list of devices down below in the description so you can flash and enjoy Lineage as well. So without wasting any more time, let's just start the review. It is half rooted, means only ADB can access the root. You will need to flash super su add-on in order to get full root access. Normally CM based rooms are pre-rooted, but Google changed something in the nougat. So that's why we'll have to flash the super su add-ons now. So after flashing this lineage add-on, you can have root access. I mean it's not that tough if you ask me. From very first moment I noticed amazing nugget animation implemented smoothly into this room. Apart from boot animation not much has changed as you can see you can get normal Synergid mode launcher I don't know they call it trebuchet or something else. And yes they have replaced their logo in contributor section too. Now let's talk about features and customization because you know most of the future rooms will be based on this lineage OS. One of the very new and useful feature of Nougat is to change the display size. And also you can change the size of fonts and that feature is available in lineage OS too. Double tap to wake feature and up next we have button customization where you can disable or enable on screen navigation. You can customize your home, your menu button and your recent button and also you can customize your power menu it means you can select what to have when you long press the power button. You can increase the backlight timing from 5 seconds to 30 seconds. The RAM management is simply outstanding because I get 1.7 GB of free RAM with this heavy usage. And you know one of the perks to use Cyanogen mode is to have privacy guard. With this feature you can basically do anything with your apps. You can give them permission to find out your location or your SMS or your storage or you can simply deny them because not all the apps need to know your location. Especially the apps like WhatsApp or Facebook. And one of the most used feature nowadays is to protect your apps like WhatsApp or Gallery. In this feature you can lock any app with pattern or password so your dirty secrets will be safe. And up next we have most used features status bar where you can reposition your clock, your battery, your data and also you can change the icons. And with status bar there is always quick setting customization where you can add or remove tiles in your notification panel. Google now on tap is working it means that you can easily convert it to Google Assistant. Click the i button to check my video how to have Google Assistant in basically any room. Lineage OS has definitely thought about your security and that's why 4x4 pattern is available rather than 3x3 which is mostly used in AOSP ROMs. And then you have few gestures customization which you normally get in OnePlus devices. Now let's talk about camera. It has normal Snapdragon camera with lots of manual settings. Here are some photos I took. So that was features and customization now let's talk about stability and performance. And if you are old subscriber of this channel then you might know that I never liked Cyanogen mode after Cyanogen mode 13 because the battery life was so poor and there are always some bugs in the room. And because of this reason in my top 5 rooms for OnePlus One video only few CM based rooms are there. But it looks like that Lineage OS not only has changed its name but has changed its few developers because this ROM is simply amazing and as mentioned above the RAM management is outstanding. I have been using this ROM for last 2 days and I can definitely say that UI feels faster than Synergy mode and without no doubt faster than stock Android. 
Room is but very smooth. There is no lag. There is no F4 close. There is no random reboots. It means that it's using OnePlus CPU and GPU in every possible way. Now let's talk about battery life. There are three modes as usual: balance, power saver, and performance. I normally keep it on balance until unless I want to play some heavy games. Then I put it on performance mode. So I got around six hours of screen on time, and I can't remember when was the last time I got this kind of screen on time with any Nougat ROM. I said this is definitely good news for Android ROM community because if the ROM is not EOSP based, it's definitely Lineage OS based ROM. Only negative thing about this ROM is that there is no Cyanogen mode theme engine, and Lineage OS is working on that, so it might come back in the future. And in the meanwhile, you can use Substratum though. It can give you boot loops sometimes. So I'm giving four and a half out of five to this amazing room. And you can relate this review for any device like OnePlus 3, OnePlus 3T, any Samsung, LG, or even Sony devices. So hit the like button if this video was helpful to you. And if you like my videos, then you will definitely like my second channel. It's funny channel. Just give it a shot. So that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe. This is Nash and I will see you tomorrow.